Aloha Collective. So this is my celebrity reading. Uh, Kadeem Harrison Artisan. Celebrity reading 17. I am Hawaii Libra and this is my channel. Um, some rules about my channel is that you need to be 18 years or over to um, engage in, in this <laughs> subscription. And also, uh, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, yeah. So, he was born July 24, 1965 in New York. His sun is in Leo. His moon is in Gemini. His Chinese astrology is wood snake. And so, just for those of you that don't know Kareem Hardison, he's best known for Dwayne Wayne in the sitcom, spin-off sitcom, A Different World from the sitcom is spinoff is from the Cosby show and it was featured from 1887 to 1993 okay and Dwayne Dwayne he was known for his glasses you could lift them up and they were very fashionable and I think during that time everybody wanted those glasses he just had like really fabulous and um fashion sense and and just a remarkable talent his mother um, was a fashion model, and I also read that she was also um, part of his his acting career, and his manage did the managing part of his acting. So his acting career is pretty long. So I was like, cool. I don't know if I have room right now. He's around fifty seven years old. Okay, so he had all these different films like Escape. We um he did some rapping mu um films, uh, from 1984 all the way to 2020. I didn't get everything, but he started out with Beat Street, The House of Dies, Prior, Go to the Mountain, 1985. There was this movie called Rapping. He, he had a role in that. 1987, Enemy Territory. 1988, School Days, and I'm gonna get you sucker. 1989, Dream Date, 1990, Death by Temptation, 1992, White Man Can't Jump, 1994, Gunman, Re Renaissance Man, 1995, Panther, Vampire in Brooklyn. Um, then I just skipped over to 2019, Paddington, because his, his career is really long. 2020, he was in Psych 2, Last Sea, Come Home. Uh, he was the dad. He filmed as a dad at in Casey Undercover and on uh, Disney. And um, he was like he made in other sitcoms. He made um, an appearance like in Living Single, Girlfriends, Under the Roof, Everybody Hates Chris, etc., etc., etc. So he his career has been very long. And no matter how little his role is, he, you know, he just persevered. So we're going to take a look at his um, sign. And then um, on the bottom, there will probably be some references about him. So his sun is in 1 degree 31 Leo. His moon is 8 degrees 18 degrees Gemini. And then Mercury... Um, in Leo, Venus in Leo, Mars in Libra, his Jupiter is in Gemini, Saturn in Pisces, Uranus in Virgo, Neptune, Scorpio, Pluto, Virgo, North Node in Gemini, and his Tron is in Pisces. So he has, even though he's a fire sign, he has some air, he has some water, and it just makes him, his needle chart is really interesting, makes him very interesting interesting he has almost all the elements that you can think of it's just like like being an airbender you know being the last airbender but the airbender has everything can do fire and can do so he's just multi-talented that's that's what i'm getting um yeah so that's what that's what kadeem hardest reminds me the last airbender with all the elements in him <laughs> Okay, now we're going to go into his reading. So we want to see, like, what can the collective learn from Kareem as being this? Because he's so talented. Like, what is his discipline? What is How does he discipline himself? I mean, because we can take 
that energy and that modeling from Kadeem and we can apply it to our own lives. And so let's see how we can apply it to our own lives. Okay. So right here for the um the Hawaiian playing cards, yeah. We have these five and six of diamonds and this two of spades and we have this six of hearts and this um Kamehameha and and Queen Emma. So you can tell that he was guided by very tall, disciplined parents. Two very intelligent, talented, mega parents. So of course he doesn't want to disappoint his parents, right? And he wants to learn all that he can in the business, no matter what. His parents are very supportive. And he has a lot of this maybe I think this tool of space, it reminds me of decision making. So he had some decision making to I, it it could have been like love. Do I you know continue with romance, chase the girls, or am I here to make the money? So, yeah, very flip flop and but decision, very lot lots of decision. Might have he might have had trouble barriers in deciding what woman to settle down with <laughs> in his younger days, and I think through time, like he managed to learn and grow. In his personal life but you see this um so this is the hawaiian vocabulary cards la o i and kama'a right here ka ma'a and then you have kai then you have polu purple and ohana kai ka ma'a Lao ai. Okay, so fashion sense, very cultural, and then this ocean, this kai, ke a i kai, reminds me of him. Um, that he was very cultural, so he might have traveled with his parents overseas to other places of the world, and so very ahead of his time as well, and fashionable, and support of his ohana in his his upbringing, and I feel like this is a Polu is healing. Polu is healing. And he had to heal a lot of, um, not necessarily trauma, but maybe, um, learn and grow, learn and grow as a young, um, a young black man, but very, but, you know, having more opportunities than the average black man. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Okay. So this one um is Nicki Minaj and this one is a fire sign. So yeah, he had displayed his fiery sign and his go get him. He, he's a go getter. Um but he also has these unhidden he also had his unhidden talents along the way or developing talents while he was acting. And he might have been a bad boy and he might have been in a couple of relationships that might have had some, a lot of fire, too much fire and too much, um, con controlling or, um, maybe dual duality with feminine and masculine, um, kind of like tugging and pushing. That's what I, I get. But at one time I think he wanted to be like a bad boy and be a player. I mean, play the role. And he might have been encouraged, of course, from, you know, social, um, uh, the social life during that time or what was acceptable and what was not acceptable during that time, you know. And um, that was the 80s. So the full reverse and then you had the empress. I think, like, with women, basically, he had to just learn, you know. Uh, and, he, and he might have grown, grew up, a little too fast as well and so he came into um a relationship already grown up but also having these habits here but he he grew he grew and he learned because i i think like right now he wants to be a family man or looked upon as a family man you know because of his roles like um on casey undercover and also his appearing roles but also, I think he wants to, um, like, he's, they're doing a college tour. So the actors and actresses from a different world is now doing a college tour because they made a very huge impact. 
to um, the black community or even people with color that uh, about the importance of education, importance of having a career and so forth. Yeah, and I think um, they all support that um, that uplifting energy with young, especially with young people. And so um, I'm just going to say that um, for Kareem Hardison, I think the collective could learn um, to accept your growth because you're not the same person that you were yesterday. Yeah? And also accept um, and find those hidden talents that um, you have, like, look in the closet, <laughs> look in the your inner closet and grab all those inner... Grab out, grab out those inner talents and explore with them in your career. And I think, like he did little roles and he did big role, bigger roles. And I, I and I think that counts. You know that shows that perse per perseverance and that humbleness to just um dive into that, even dive into the role that maybe the doesn't even suit you, doesn't even pay well, but. It helps you expand your career. It helps, it helps to build trust and nurture relationships. And um, so this last one with the full card reverse, and I think you just had to learn a lot about women and their needs, and a lot about growth and life as a as a Kanye as a man. Yeah. So we're gonna um look into this uh, mixed plate. We're gonna get two cards from the mixed plate. And this one is, um, it says, Waki Wasabi is irritated. Hu hu. Um, and it has a different languages. It's a, and yeah, different, um, languages to say, um, irritated. And then this one is, um, take, take out box is content. So he's a like, content with his life right now. As being a, a father figure, as being um, an experienced actor, being um, very humble, yeah. And maybe in his younger days, he was a little bit irritated at certain things, um, how people were treated. And he had to learn and grow and observe and, um, and experience life, yeah. And that's what we're, that's what. Um, I think the collective is also experiencing learning and growing and um, in experiencing life, um, opening doors, you know, that doesn't give us the money, but gives us the um, expansion and the nurturing in relationships. I think those are really important. Nurturing relationships is really important. Um, and that is what I have for Kadeem Hardison. Celebrity Reading 17. Thank you for joining my channel. Like and subscribe. Aloha Valya Oko. I hope this reading helped the collective um, to reflect upon Kareem Hardison's career and then to also reflect upon our um, ourselves. I forgot one more thing about, um, I think also Kareem Hardison also represents um the being a parent and how we can nurture our children because his parents were very nurturing as you can see the Kamehameha and the Queen Emma yeah a leader two leaders and a generous lead one of them very very generous and one of them um creating a law and so I think like the direction and discipline in our children reflects upon how their character yeah and I think Kareem Hardison's character as a, a father and an actor and the kind of roles he chooses to play now is um shows that you know he he wants to be a good role model and I think that that one is a big one for the collective too is as we become good parents or grandparents to our children and our grandchildren, our nieces and nephews. I think that plays a very vital role and that can be a reflection from Kareem Hardison. Mahalo, thank you. Ahuiho.